Hey guys, it's Comboy, and uh, today I have some awesome zombie gameplay from earlier in this week, which is I was uh, playing with her, with uh, my friends and their cousin, and we managed to get pretty far, which is uh, round 22, which is the furthest I've gotten, and uh, I haven't really got the time to play zombies that much, but uh, that's why round 22 is my uh, current farthest that I went. So um, anyway, I have a lot to cover in this video, so I'll probably talk. But uh, first off, I want to give a shout out to uh, Techboy AP. Uh, if you saw my intro in the beginning, he's the one who made it for me, so um, a big thanks to him. And uh, he made it cool, so uh, yeah, thanks to him. And uh, he makes free intros, so if you guys want an intro, go uh, check him out and subscribe to him. His link will be in the description. And uh, he makes awesome tutorials along with gameplays too, so uh, he's definitely a shout worth uh, checking out and um, yeah so I also wanted to give a shout out to uh, uh, Opti and because his channel got hacked and he lost all, all of his subscribers and uh, that must really suck um, starting all over again but he is doing it so I uh, just wanted to maybe uh, you guys can head over there and check him out too and some of his subscribers back for him so uh, both of their links will be in the description and um, it would be pretty cool if you checked them both out for me. And uh, yeah, so zombie gameplay. Um, basically, what I'm going to do, uh, since, it, since the whole uh, gameplay was like two hours, I'm just going to cut out some of, the, some of the cooler parts. And that right there was round six or five or something. And uh, basically, it was just the round. I was just showing you what, our, what we were doing in the earlier rounds. But now that we're on round... Um, basically, our our uh, plan was to all sit in this corner, and uh, me, Kane, and uh, VG4A, otherwise known as Dylan and Austin, uh, they're pretty good friends of mine for Call of Duty wise. Um, they used to be in my clan, and uh, we had some good times on game battles and stuff. So we just decided to head on zombies, and we needed the fourth player, so he invited his cousin. So uh, also, this was his, uh, his first first uh, actual uh, time playing the game so he just bought it right before he he played so that's why he uh, didn't really do that well but uh, nonetheless it was still fun and uh, I have the HK 21 which I heard is a pretty good weapon in zombies and in my opinion it, it is really good uh, it has a 125 clip which does not hurt at all you can just keep spraying and uh, since I had the HK-21, they just told me to sit on the corner here and just shoot down the alley when these people came. And uh, basically that's what I did. So uh, I will be talking a couple tips and badges that we did uh, as, as the video gets on. So uh, basically, um, eventually I got all the powers. I mean all the power-ups, yeah. Um, I got Quick Revive and Juggernog and all that. And uh, one one good thing that uh, we're doing right now is we're, we're staying together and we're sitting in the corner here. And uh, zombies camping is way different than online multiplayer camping, so there's nothing wrong with zombie camping. So uh, basically what we did was we stayed in this corner till all the zombies but uh, the two final crawlers were uh, killed. And then once, once, we, uh, once those two crawlers came out, we all ran around and did whatever we wanted to, uh, went to the box, bought some weapons, uh, bought some power-ups, and repaired all the windows and stuff like that, so, um, I'll show you guys a couple of the highlights, um, I think this is round 10 and 11 that I'll be showing you, or just 10, but, um, yeah, so basically they just told me to stay in the front here, and, uh, one, a couple of guys had the ray gun, I eventually get the ray gun and upgraded it later in the video, so, um, yeah, so the HK-21 is probably one of the best weapons. Uh, when you're playing zombies, you're looking for a strong weapon with a high clip. Um, the HK-21 is a pretty good weapon. So, right here, uh, this is another tip for you guys. Uh, on the last zombie, you'll see uh, two, two crawlers like that guy just come out. And when you see just two of them and nobody else come out, then you know it's the last two zombies, so you, you're free to go. And basically what we would just do is we'd get one guy to what was called like uh, lure the zombie, lure the zombie around. 
while us while the other three just went and uh, bought weapons from the mystery box and uh, repaired windows and stuff like that so basically that's what we did for 22 rounds and uh, you'll see how it ends up how we end up nine it was a mistake and uh, it ended up proving to be our bane so anyway yeah so um, we are just trying to find out a good weapon here and basically the whole time the other dude that was playing with us is just uh, running in circles and making sure the zombie follows him and stuff and yeah this whole time we're just doing this so um, also I, I bought I got the, the mystery box I bought it a bunch of times and like half the time it was this stupid teddy bear dude it was so annoying I got the teddy bear like six times and uh, you'll see later I think I get it I think I got it like five times not even kidding and uh, basically happens when the teddy bear comes is just the box disappears and goes to another room so uh, right back here we killed the last zombie so we run back to the corner and uh, complete another round so right here I bought the Bowie knife which is definitely a good choice to do um, basically what it does is a one knife kill or just yeah one knife but uh, as if you go on to later levels I believe it's a two and three knife kill but still it's 10 times better than the regular knife so if you can upgrade to a bowie knife i definitely recommend that so right here i am going to upgrade my hk21 so you'll see how i do it basically what you have to do is link the the teleport pads if you guys did not know already uh the one in the room where you start out and where i just was there and it costs five thousand dollars to upgrade any weapon and basically what you do is just go up to the machine press a and it upgrades it for you so you get a nice new camo and uh, the weapon damage is increased along with uh, sometimes magazine capacity and in this case it went from 125 to 150 which is pretty good so um, uh, definitely another tip would be to upgrade weapons as much as possible so if you get a good weapon early on keep it and uh, upgrade it when you can so um, that's another good choice so basically we are back here while someone is uh, keeping the zombie following the zombie and uh, right here I think I take charge of the zombie I'll just show you guys what I mean um, but another tip when when trying to get the zombie to follow you make sure it's the last zombie like be a hundred percent positive because a couple times we went out there when it wasn't the last zombie and it almost ended up costing us the game so um, just make sure it's the last zombie and this is all you have to do is just uh, keep walking around and he will keep following you so your uh, your party can uh, do whatever you want so I was also eating a sandwich so that's why you see me spinning and stuff so uh, that's that's what we went meant by uh, following the zombie and stuff so right here I'm upgrading my uh, my ray gun and basically what the ray gun upgrade did was more powerful and it upgraded the magazine capacity from 20 bullets to 40 bullets which is a good as always and uh yeah so we're all in good shape here we all have upgraded weapons and uh that dude down there was following the zombie so uh basically that's what we did for 22 rounds and if you see in the bottom left hand corner above the level 17 you'll see my power ups i have three or four here and uh, basically the power-ups, one is quick revive, which is you can revive your down teammates uh, a lot quicker than if you didn't have it, so that's a definite uh, recommendation. And another one is speed cola, which uh, is basically sleight of hand, and that's pretty good addition too. So right here we have the, the dogs, and another one of the power-ups is the juggernaut, and uh, that basically makes the zombie have to kill you. Uh, right here, you see me drinking the juggernaut. It takes three to six kills. I mean, three to six uh, hits to down you. And uh, right here, we were, we were like, oh, we're kind of screwed. So um, I'm just knifing with my Bowie knife. I think I'm the only one left eventually, and I just clutch it with my, which is pretty nice. And after uh, my friends were like, oh, he clutched it with a Bowie knife. <laughs> it's pretty cool, but. Yeah, um, basically if you guys don't know what it means, uh, clutch is just when you finish the level off by yourself. And uh, yeah, so 
that's this is a uh, level 20 we're approaching the end soon um, the dogs are probably one of the most annoying thing in the game, even though uh, the last dog always gives you max ammo so uh, just another tip whenever you see a max ammo on the floor um, always reload before you pick it up because it will uh, give you more ammo in the long run especially when you have a weapon like the HK21 with such a big clip if you reload 125 more bullets you'll get 125 more bullets so uh, right here is where the mistake happens the gameplay is about wrapping up uh, pretty soon so uh, you'll see here we're caught out of position um, my friend said the zombie died off on its own when he was when he was uh, luring it in so uh, I don't know how that happened maybe it bled out or something but uh, basically the zombie died on his own and we were all gonna run back to the corner which uh, thinking looking back on it now I think we could have made it to the corner but uh, we were just like you know what we're just gonna we're just gonna try to stay in here which uh, proved to be a uh, our uh, weakness so um, like I said just stay, try to stay together and get into a spot where zombies can only come in from one way which was the corner that I was at earlier and that's the uh, a good choice to stay there because uh, you don't want zombies coming in two and three different ways coming from behind the front everywhere and uh, yeah so that would be a tip for me and uh, so this is what happened we just caught out of position and I thought we would make it here because I had instant kill I mean instant kill and I revived him and but I thought I thought we were gonna make it but it didn't it didn't uh, work out so uh, it, was, it was pretty fun going on this long, but we were like after uh, do you want to do another one and uh, Pretty pretty uh, annoying when you go 20 rounds and uh, takes two and a half hours and and uh, You just have to start all over again, so yeah, we didn't start but um, It was pretty fun while it lasted and uh, if you guys enjoyed the video uh, Let me know if you want to see more zombie gameplay with more tips and tricks like these let me know too um, I enjoy making zombie gameplay especially when I get far like this and um, I might do some solo zombie gameplay to see how far I can get on my own and uh, other than that that's about it um, I go into second chance here and I get revived but then we get stuck in the stairway oh no I don't get revived so that's about it guys I hope you enjoyed and uh, let me know what is the farthest you've gotten in zombies either with a team or yourself uh, this is my farthest as I said earlier but yeah just let me know and I will see you guys later thank you for watching